Hi, I'm Chris Armstrong from Regal Technologies. Today let's look at some of the visualization techniques built in to the new DHO4000 digital high resolution oscilloscope from Regal. We start with a signal on the screen here. Let's go ahead and hit the fast auto. So immediately we see a close up view of our signal come in. And we can also see this dropout here. It's happening a few times a second. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. So here we can see that pulse about 10 nanoseconds wide. Now we found that quickly. So now we can go ahead and trigger on it directly using a pulse trigger mode, looking for the skinnier, skinnier pulses here. And now we've got that. Now what we'd like to do is look at that, look at that event in, in, a, in a series or in context of other events around it so we can debug it, find the ultimate root cause. To do that, one way we're going to do is use the full memory all at once for this instrument. This instrument has up to 500 million points of memory. Here we can use 250 million points of memory. And let's go out to 5 nanoseconds per division. So here at 5 nanoseconds or 5 milliseconds per division, we have 50 milliseconds across the screen. And because of the deep memory, we've still got full sampling, 4 giga samples per second. So we can look at that signal, trigger on that pulse. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. Make sure we can see what's happening in there. So let's zoom in to 50 nanoseconds per division. So here, even at 50 nanoseconds per division, zoomed in uh, 100,000 times, we still have great signal integrity, uh, great sampling on our signal, easy way to look at, visualize that signal in context. Now another way to look at a signal in context is instead of using all the memory for one continuous data set, we can segment that memory. To do that, let's go ahead and turn that zoom off, go back to 50 nanoseconds per division for our regular signal, and let's turn that memory depth down to the minimum. Now we can look at that signal, and then let's go ahead and use our record mode. Before I do that, so we can recording some more interesting data here, let's go back to edge trigger. So now we're looking at all these trigger events. We can see them all in series. Let's go ahead and change our waveform display to the Keller grade. That shows us the infrequent result a little more clearly on the display. Now let's go into the record mode. Now we can record 500,000 frames of this data. Let's go ahead and do that. So quickly captured half a million frames trigger events on this data. We minimize that, go ahead and we can play it back as a movie, look at them in series. We can speed that up. So we're going at really a frame per millisecond here. We can skim through all these frames looking at different data sequences within that capture. So a great way to look at pieces of that of those trigger events in the context of each other in a series like a movie. Now the newest visualization technique built in to the DHO 4000 series and the DHO 1000 series oscilloscopes is what we call Ultra Acquire. So to get there, let's gonna actually go back and turn off all that record mode. Oop, one more time. Turn this off. Now we can run that trigger again. Now let's go ahead and go to ultra acquire mode. Let's set this up to capture 2000 frames in a perspective mode. Let's see what that looks like. So now what we're able to see is about a hundred at a time we can see these sequences of these trigger events and we'll look at them in context as they're happening from older to newer. On a, in this case, we're looking at the perspective mode. But now that we've captured these, we can go ahead and navigate through these in a different way as well. So we can look at 100 frames a time at a time here and go through looking at 100 frames in a sequence capturing different pieces of this data looking for those pulse events that might be happening. 
not only do we have perspective, but there's actually a few different ways to look at the ultra acquired data in this way. Look at them all adjacent, pulse together. And we can look at them in that normal mode we discussed, the uh, this traditional perspective view. And there's one of those pulses, one of those errant pulses is in, is in this set of data between frame 1100 and 1200. We look at them in a waterfall from top to bottom. We can see the pulse there happening, looks like about two-thirds of the way through. We can look, look at it in that perspective mode as well. There it is in the back. And lastly, we can look at this in a, in a mosaic frame as well. So this shows us each of these, each of these captures individually. That shows 80 of them across the screen. So you can see all these in different times. And there's the pulse towards the end of that in the next set. So UltraQuire allows you to look at data in context, look at frames and segmented data triggers in different ways. They give you the most really uh, ability to see different signals and look at them in different ways on your oscilloscope. So those are some of the visualization techniques we use between the deep memory and the segmented data here within the DHO 4000 series oscilloscopes.